Okay, let's talk about the New York State Teacher Certification Examinations. And uh, we're talking about the grades 7 through 12 exam. Now, if you're watching this video, which obviously you are, I assume you are getting ready to take this exam, and that is fantastic. And uh, what I have here for you is a practice problem that you should be able to uh, handle uh, and answer this successfully if you are fully prepared for this exam. So let me go ahead and show you the problem. So here we have a right triangle, and we're being told that the sine of angle B right here is 3 fourths, and we're looking for this side right here, CB, what is that distance? So that is the problem. Feel free to pause, uh, pause the video, work on this. Now, if you could solve this, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct answer in just one second, and then, of course, I'm going to solve this step by step. But uh, before we get going, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I have been teaching math for decades, and I definitely know what it's like to take certification examinations. So you really have to be ready uh, for these exams, okay? Uh, as you well know, there's a lot of people who go take their certification exam, and they do not pass the first time, maybe even the second time. So it just makes sense to be fully ready to go the first time you take this exam. So if you're looking for a great uh, great way to study for the math on the New York State Teacher Certification Exam 7 through 12, I have a fantastic test prep course. I'm going to leave a link to that in the description of this video, but it will definitely help you get fully prepared for this exam. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this problem right here. So again, we have a right triangle, and that is an important detail. And we're being told the sine of angle B, this right here, is equal to 3 fourths, and we're looking for this length, BC. Okay, so let's go take a look at the answer. The answer is the square root of 7. All right, now if you got that right, that is excellent. Okay, now if you didn't get this right, don't panic. Just use this video as feedback, okay? But this is a type of problem that you certainly could see on this particular exam. But let's go ahead and get into the actual solution right now. All right, so what you're going to need to know is some basic right angle trigonometry. Okay, that's what we're talking about here. So if uh, the sine of this angle right here, sine of angle B, is equal to 3 fourths, what is this length? Well, the sine, let me just kind of write this up here. You got sine, cosine, and tangent. Now, in trigonometry, we refer to these things, these trigonometric functions, as trigonometric ratios. Okay, and a ratio, of course, is a fraction. Basically, you're comparing two sides of uh, this uh, right triangle. Okay, so hopefully you remember this good old saying right here, which is so katoa, right? And what does that mean? Well, it means the following. I'll get back to this triangle in a second. So so katoa is just a little mnemonic that helps us remember uh, what is the sine, what is the cosine, what is the tangent, all right? So the sine is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse, the sine of a particular angle is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse. The cosine is the adjacent over the hypotenuse, and the tangent is the opposite over the adjacent. So where are the opposite adjacent and the hypotenuse located? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at our right triangle here. Now, here is the angle that we're looking at, angle B. So the hypotenuse of a right triangle is always the longest side. Okay, and it's always opposite of the right angle. You can see there's the right angle. So the longest side of a right triangle is always the hypotenuse or H. Now here, we're again, we're looking at angle B. This is the angle that is in this particular problem. So the side that is adjacent to it is the side that is actually helping form or connect it to that angle. Okay, so it's adjacent to it. It's right next to the angle. And then the side opposite okay, is the one away. So this would be the opposite for it with respect to angle B. So this is O, this is A, and this is H, okay? So again, we're talking about trigonometric ratios. We're comparing two sides. So sine of um, an angle would be the opposite over the hypotenuse. Cosine would be the adjacent uh, over the hypotenuse. And tangent is the opposite over the adjacent. Okay, so now what do we know about this problem? Well, we know that the sine of this angle right here, sine of angle B, 
is equal to three fourths. Okay, so we're going to use that piece of information to kind of reconstruct what's going on in this triangle. All right, so here's angle B, and we know that the sine is three fourths. Now, again, by definition, we know that the sine of an angle is the opposite over the hypotenuse. So if the sine of this angle is three fourths, okay, well, three must be the what? It must be the opposite. So here, here's angle B. So three is the opposite leg, okay? You can kind of see that there. And then, of course, the hypotenuse would have to be four, right? So here, looking at angle B, if I said, what's the uh, sine of angle B? It would be opposite over the hypotenuse, which would be here. This is the opposite leg. And there is the hypotenuse, which would be three-fourths. So now we're dealing with a right triangle that has three here, four here, and we're looking for this side. So that brings us to our next thing that we need to be able to uh, figure out um, uh, in terms of right triangles, and that is how to find missing uh, legs, all right? The distances of a leg given to, and anytime you have um, a right triangle, you always wanna be keeping the Pythagorean theorem in mind, okay? This is just so powerful. And of course, if you have two sides, of uh, any right triangle, you can always find the third side. And here we have three, here we have four. So uh, just remember that the hypotenuse is always the C side. So when it comes to the Pythagorean theorem, C is always the hypotenuse. Okay, so let's go ahead and just solve for this missing length right there, A, which of course would answer the question, what is the length BC? So we can kind of just distill it down to a simple right triangle problem and we're looking for this side right here, x. So let's go ahead and use the Pythagorean theorem. a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. Let's plug in our respective values, a. Remember, a and b are just the smaller sides uh, of the right triangle. c is always the hypotenuse. And then you can see the basic algebra here, and that would be nine plus x squared is equal to 16. Subtract nine from both sides of the equation, I get x squared is equal to seven. Take the square root of both sides, I get x is equal to positive negative seven. So we'll take the positive value of that because we're talking about distance. And that is the length of BC. Okay, so hopefully, uh, even though you, know, you may not have remembered how to do this, hopefully this video helped you out. You certainly, you know, has gotten you know, this just by reviewing this is going to be helpful for this particular exam. But there is so much more on uh, this particular New York State uh, teacher certification exam. There is a lot of math, so you really want to be fully prepared. Again, uh, you don't want to retake exams, okay? Take the time to get really, you know, uh, immersed in mathematics. I could definitely uh, help you do that. Again, you could check out my test prep course for this by following the link in the description of this video. All right, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best on your certification exam. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.